Hi folks and welcome back to Conan Exiles. This is episode 7 of the Let's Play 3.0 series and in this episode we're going to take a little break from the progression side of things and we've, I've had quite a few comments of people asking me let build some more bases build some more bases because in the previous series I only built really my starter base and then my main base and didn't build anything else and uh, I hesitate to call what we've got here a starter base because literally is some foundation with some benches on it and a one by one shelter from the storm so I think what I'll do is I will take over what my first ever video on YouTube was which was where I took a basic small pirate galleon and I supersized it um, to make it a little bit more usable and I, th I think we'll, we're going to go into how we actually build one of those galleons. So full disclosure, first of all um, I will be using the Flotsam build set from the Isle of Sipta DLC. Uh, I'll be using that because the Flotsam set is basically built out of broken ship parts so it lends itself really well to build ship type bases with. And the other thing is that the base is very much inspired by Barden's shipbuilding video. Um, uh, I, I guess the, the ship we'll build here will be pretty much exactly the same as, as his one, but over different builds I've expanded and tweaked it. it it's very easy to make it bigger and different sizes you just kind of have to use the same sort of principles really but what we'll do is we'll build a, a ship base here now the issue is that you need with a ship you need it to be in the water and you need foundations to go to the ground and this part of the water you can see we're on shore but then it goes deep really quickly However, across here, just across the water, we've got quite a large bit of land that's just under the water. This is next to that guy fighting. So we could actually build a ship here and it'll it'll be in the water a bit on without going too deep. Otherwise, you've got to run foundations all the way down, which looks a bit rubbish for a ship. Or the other way of doing it is instead of putting foundations down, you put ceiling tiles with um, pillars going down and then it kind of looks like it is actually floating in the water because it's it's standing on pillars. So I've gathered together a bunch of materials which are in this chest here. So Flotsam uses mainly wood with a little bit of stone. You could build it, if you don't have the DLC, you could build it out of basic stone um, and then I guess you'd have a stone ship so like a smaller version of the Black Galleon, really. Uh, but I think all the all the parts that we use are the same in both. It's just it just more wood and ship-like by using Flotsam. But if you're doing it the stone method, you're going to need more stone and less wood. It's the opposite way around. Uh, we're going to need some plant fiber and some branches for some sails, and then we're going to need some iron bars for some for some torches, uh, just to to light it up at the end. Uh, the problem is, although with the new move placeable, so I can move this box and all its contents, I can move it over. Oh, uh, pinged it too far. I can move it over here, but I can't actually move it right across the river. It's too far across the river. So we're going to use you. Uh, and we'll pick up. If I take all and then put most of it in you. Oh, good. That's berries we've got in there. That's okay. So what's that in there? Check that. Right, and then we will pick pick you up. What's that? Yeah, it picks it, puts it back to its resource parts again. Right, head across the river. And then we'll put the box down with all the stuff in it, just on the on the shore here. It's uh, handy to have all your materials nearby. 
Uh, so F decoration. Oh, because we did a, a, a white, we're going to have to learn the box again. Uh, oh, in fact, we're going to have to learn a lot of stuff. We're going to have to learn construction, which automatically teaches us that we're going to need stairs, which also teaches us to salvage a stair. We're going to need roof parts, because we're going to use uh, these, these as the sails. Uh, fences, we'll need that. And pillars, we'll need that. Uh, I think that's all. And then where's the box? Box, box, box. There it is, box maker. Did we learn it? But what's going on here? Knowledge, survival. Box maker, here we go. Decoration, storage. So place the box down. And then we'll get all the stuff off of you. Right, take all and then just give you your berries back. Alright, let's stick them all in the box. And we'll put all these bits as well in there just to save weight. Uh, and we'll put half of that back and we'll put one of them back. Right, can we move with that? We can. Right. We're going to put you on guard about here, just in case that guy comes along. In fact, we'll also go and get Tessa. I don't want to be fighting because there's a, obviously a croc nearby as well. I don't, I don't know how we'll affect their spawn points by building there. They might they might still spawn, they might not. Uh, so you can follow me now. It's a way to get dark. Oh, there we go, look. There's a bit of fight over there. And he's dead. Right, you, but you can stand guard here, and we'll put you on guard over here in case the croc comes along. Too far. There. Okay, right, I'm going to give it a wee minute until it gets daylight, and then we'll start the actual build. Okay, welcome back to morning. Right, so we're going to build, so you can see the sort of sandbank we've got here. So we want to sort of start at the middle and we're going to build, eh, wrong button, that button, with flotsam square building pieces and we're going to start pretty much in the middle and we're going to lift it up pretty high. How does that look? That looks not bad. Right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's the start, and then we're going to do another one. I'm not bothered about the arrow direction here, because the flotsam pieces are exactly the same all the way around. Right, so there we go. We've got a three by seven square base at the moment. So... Right at the start, we're going to use the flotsam windows as flotsam frames, are they called? Flotsam frames as the portholes. So we want six of them. That's in the wrong place. Along here. There and there. And then we want a wall here and here and you can see that if you're starting out you could just put walls along there walls along there and put a roof on and you've got the start of a base straight away without too much materials and you're ready to move in and get started with your game which then you can then expand this so you could bring take down these walls and add on the, the fore and aft of the ship and uh, you could slowly turn it into a ship over time with this base 
starting off straight away. But we're especially because to get materials, it's always better before you do a bigger build to wait until you've got at least iron material uh, weapons and tools, or even better steel, because you're going to get more wood from each tree and more stone from each um, rock. Right, what end? We're going to make this end the front. So this will be the back. So we're going to need we're going to need more of something there. What do we need? We need more wood. This is a a, a wood heavy build. Whereas if you made it out of stone brick, it will be a stone heavy build. Right, and we are going to spin these round because they do have a direction. So we want them to line up with the cross hatch on the, the square pieces. So there we go. So that, that'll be the back of the ship. And this will be the front. So we're going to start narrowing the front of the ship down. Like that. And then using the lovely feature of the building hammer, if we r middle mouse button on that square foundation, we now select a square foundation. Right, and then middle mouse button on the triangle. And we go back to the triangle. So it just makes... It's so much quicker. Right, that is the ground floor footprint of the ship. So we're going to need another wall. So middle mouse button on that one. Put a wall there and there. But we're going to need a door here. And we'll put one here. We've got the option of building like a, a dock right across the river to bridge right across the river to get out of there. And also, it's just another way of getting out, out of the base to head across that way. Uh, and then we'll go into need... What will we need here? We will need another wall. There. And there. That will stay open at the moment. And we can close this off. There's a middle... There we go. Right. Now we need some ceilings, which is there, and we'll place them around the outside. Like that. Alright, I'm going to leave a two gap and place another one, another one, and another one. And then we'll get a stair. Place that there. So we will come in here. I'll place a stair there to make it easier to get in. We can come in and then we can get up to the main deck, which will be up here. Okay. Uh, so this needs to be backed off as well. So get the hammer out. Select that piece. Uh, are we missing something? We are missing wood. Of course we are. Take another stack of wood. And I'll take another hundred stone. Oh, no. I still need to be downstairs. So, one there, one there, one there, and one there. And now I need the triangle wedge pieces to fill in this bit. There we go. However, we're going to then extend it out a little bit. And put some more wedges. Like that. And we'll need some wedges here as well. And some squares there, and some wedges there, and one more out there. Okay. Starting to look a little bit like a ship. 
Right, before we go any further, the problem with the foundation pieces with the flotsam set is if I dive under the water, they've got these barrels in them. So they've got holes with barrels underneath them. So what we can do to hide that is we can use fence foundations, which are these ones here. So fence foundations have got two stat points there and there. But you can see you can see there's like a ship's wheel pattern on them, but if you spin them round so they face the other way, you get solid panels. So if you spin it round Oh, somebody's fighting. Oh go and test that. They're starting to respawn, that's okay. Right, so we'll just work our way around here. Put in the back on it here. Up, spin. Up, spin. Oh, didn't do it there. What happened there? What happened there? Oh, I've. I've taken away the wedge altogether, so middle mouse click, and then middle mouse click. There we go. Back of that one, back of that one, back of that one. So it just gives it a bit more realistic ship's hull look about it, because it doesn't have the, you can't see the barrels. Leave that bit for the moment. I've run out of materials again. Okay, so we need more of that. Some more of that. Are we getting on uh, here? Here, I want to pick up the. not required behind the stairs, you probably wouldn't have seen it behind the stairs, but anyway. Uh, there we go. Right, so now we need to try and get the point of the ship going, so we need to use the inverted left slope here and get it to, this is the difficult bit, get it there, and then we need the inverted right slope, oh, there, and there we go. That's the start of the point of the ship. So now we need one of them. That's the right way, yep. And then we'll get a wall here, here, and here. Uh, we need another left slope. No, right slope. There we go, and we put that above the last porthole, and then we need wall, wall, come on, get the snap point, there, there, there. Right, and then before we go any further, let's go back to the flotsam foundations, turn them away from us, and put two in. Oh, is it not going to fit? Okay, that'll do. With this, the ground is sloped away a bit too far there. So put that in. Then we put in one of these. Uh, no, we need a wall first. We need a wall first. So, one of the walls. Like that, and then we put in one of these. Why is it not going to go the other way? There it is, and that makes the rudder. All right, let's see if we can get this 
slope bits going in. This is also a bit of a a fudge to get these to snap to the right place. So that's the wrong way around. Okay, so a trick to try and to do that is put one of them there. And then you should it's still not doing it. Come on. Is it because there's a So it is snapping, but it's snapping the wrong way around and it's not spinning round. Came on. Too many snap points. <laughs> okay, I'll come back to that later. What about the other side? Will the other side snap? Oh. Yeah, that snapped straight away. Why did that snap straight away then? Was just going the wrong way. That, that. There it is. Wow. So yeah, a little bit of fudge just to to get that to snap, but we got there in the end. Right. We can put that back now, and we need another wall back. Not there. Like that. Right. Let's get on board and do the the other side. A slope. Is it that one? Nope, it's that one. Okay, and then to finish off the main deck, we've got uh, fences along there. Okay, and then to finish off this side. Uh, not with that one, though. that away for the moment because now we need walls but we'll put them the wrong way around so we just get the wood on the back and get up on here and we're going to need some wedges like that and then some squares like that and a square out the front like that and then I think we should now be able to fill that in. Oh, I got it there. Oh. There's one, and there's the other. And we'll see what that's for very soon. Right, it's back upstairs. And we're going to need. Okay, I'll leave the stairs at the moment because that is a bit of a fudge as well. Okay, so we're going to put, let me see, we'll put the door at this side. I'll put another, oh, we're out of wood again. The chest's a little bit further away, let's move it up beside the, in fact, let's move it onto the ship. And then move it up a deck. there. Such a handy feature. 
Okay, uh, so we're going to put another door there, and then we're going to put a wall there, and we'll put stairs there. Right, and then we're going to need to fill in another flooring. square one and we we'll just put another deck right give me one of those sloped and one of those slopes I can't see anymore oh that's in the wrong place that's why so get rid of that and that, and that, and then put a slope there. That would make more sense with the stair. Using the stairs with handles, just because it looks a little bit better. I need that to go there. And I need that to fill in there. And then we'll put portholes all the way around like that. And we'll put the door in the middle here. And I think we'll put the portholes either side. Okay. Oh, need a roof on there, I thought. So, wedges. Right, so the next thing we need to do is the masts. So the masts involve a little bit of a trick. So we're going to use flots and pillars as masks, but as you can see, pillars snap to the center of a piece. But if you place some stairs down, they will then snap to the edge of the stair. So we have one there, one, two, three. Now what we'll do is we'll pick up that there and we will put a stair down. And then we can go back to our masts again. So one can go there. So, if that was a wall, you wouldn't be able to place... In fact, let's... Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Uh, right, get rid of that. Uh, get... Oh, I'm getting rid of all the wrong stuff here. Right, try that again. Middle mouse button, fill that in. Don't go down the stairs. Right. Let's get a wall and put a wall in here and then we'll go back to our pillars and although we've got a pillar down there you can see that we can't get it to snap in that area because the solid walls there. So if we take the wall out and we put a door in instead we can place a pillar in the door frame and then go above it and then if we go back to wall again you can replace the door with a wall and the pillar stays there so that's a nice little trick um how many i think i need two up from there or three up on the main sail and then we can then pick up that stairs and put a square one back in. It's it's fully supported because the 
pillar goes all the way down onto the foundations which are down into the ground so stability isn't an issue at all right so we've got one two three foundations between those there and then we need one two three so it needs to go here so we'll pick that up we will put a stair down and then we can put a pillar another pillar not a pillar there and a pillar there and then we can pick that up grab the square put it down and if we go to the stairs we can now place stairs there and there to get up onto the front okay so too high too high too high right so now we need to make sails so sails we're going to use these flotsam rooftop because they're like made out of sail material and we're going to use these as because the ship is in port so you can have the sails up um you can if you're out in sort of deeper water you could use these going one way and then going the other back the other way to make the sails that are actually out and flowing in the in the wind but this ship is in port, so the sails are up and tied up, so we just need this one here. So that needs the fibre and the branches. So let's get some fibre and some branches. Uh, we're also going to need to make a little bit more... Uh, I don't know what they'd be called, platforms, but we're going to use the ceiling pieces to do that. There. And it's getting dark. So I'm just going to pause here and I'll bring you back when it's daylight again. Okay, welcome back. So the sun has started to come up again. So if we look here, we've got one wooden platform. Uh, what I need to do is I need to go up a bit farther. Uh, I think that high and then put another one one above and then one right at the top so we'll have one sail coming out of here and we'll have another sail coming out of the top so let's jump up onto here and go to sail and have one like that and one like that now you can see that one end is red and the other end is blue and if I jump on top of it you can see the wooden beam kind of curves out to the left and then back to the right so if i place another one you can see that's left to right but if i spin it round so it goes out to the right and then back to the left it means that the blue joins to the blue or the red joins to the red so let's fall down off of there and then try again do the same here like that and then we use these end caps on the end there and there and then we go up and right up to the top and we're going to need some sails again so one two and then some end caps uh, one two and then right at the top, we're going to use these. Yeah, so that's an intersection. This is a rooftop cap. And that goes right in the middle like that. So there we go. Right. So can I get pillar? Yep. And then another one of them. And then jump. Nope, didn't. Quite, oh, wait a minute, what, what's going on here? Right, yeah, that, that doesn't belong there. So the main sail should have three up and then a sail. Okay, all right, so sail, and this is the main sail, so this is going to go three wide. Whoa! 
tends to be a lot of falling off when you do the, the sails. On there. Alright, spin it round, so blue to blue, and then this one, red to red. Blue to blue, red to red, and then we'll put end caps on there, and end caps on here, and then we've got two. Oh, no, don't want that there. Another one, another one, and right at the top one. Another one, right? And then we, yeah, that's okay. Climb, whoop, climb up the top of there, and we want sails on this one. And it's just a smaller sail with end caps on it again. Tessa. Keeping us safe. Uh, actually, we don't need this on here because we want a rooftop cap on there. Okay, that's two sails done. Uh, now we need one of them, one of them. I think we only put one sail on it. Can we jump onto there? Oh, well done. Right, give me a one of them, one of them, and then an uh, end cap. No, missed. Come on, come on, too far away. Too far away. Let's just do it the old-fashioned way. One of them, and then yeah, that doesn't belong there either, and neither does that, because that should be. one of these. Right, and then just to finish that bits off, we put a fence there, there, to make the sort of crow's nests. again. I did say this build takes a lot of wood. Uh, got it all. Looks, looks like it. Yep, yeah, that's looking good. Okay, right, now to finish off the front, if we use one of these rooftop ends on that square, that's why we've got the square, and then one of these, there we go, and then finally a couple more fences around there, around there, and then we're going to need a couple of doors, uh, which we need twine for. Uh, where's my... Oh, I've got enough to make twine with. Alright, so I think the handle on the right is that way. Yep. Handle on the right. And we go down here. We want the handle on the right. Come on, make that twine, handle on the right, because then if we go out here and close the door, you don't see the handle and it looks more like the side of a ship. Oh, we need some more fences up on the top there. So we'll just put them around 
around the edge and across there. I'm going to leave a gap at the moment because we will need to get back up again. Is that it? I'm going to need to make torches. I need to learn, relearn how to make torches again. Uh, that's made in my inventory, so I'm going to need three torches. And then I'm going to need that. Because we should now make... Oh, I need to learn. That yellow lotus potion is causing me problems. Is it that one? Yes. Protected torches. So we get back up here. Decorations, lights, protected torches. What did that require? It needs a little bit of wood, five wood, one torch, and five iron bars. And we put that in the corner. In the corner. And front. Okay. Oh, one, one more fence. Flotsam fence in there. Oh no, look at that. Huge hole at the front. So that needs an inverted wedge like that. So unfortunately it is a sail piece. Later on, when you can get a oh, is it insulated wood or something like that, you can make a wooden piece that fits slightly better. Oh, and we've got some slopes at the back we can do. Uh, these ones. Same idea. We're just going to slope off those. Like that. And there we go. We have a pretty cheap to build pirate galleon made out of tier one flotsam pieces. So it's easy to build. Um, like I said before, you could build that seven by three main structure there and just make that your box base to get started with this bit here and then you can just slowly add to it over time if if you so wish it, uh, it's definitely not a pvp build because okay you can't climb up where the fences are but you could climb up other places and there's big holes to get into your base and all sorts of stuff but just to make your starter base not be a box it's uh it's pretty good it's pretty good you can then get various thralls on here and then if you go down to where is it down about here there's a camp down here with the black hand pirates in it obviously there's more up, up here these guys are all black hand pirates so when you fight them and kill them they often drop pieces of the black hand garb pirate gear um and then also if you go up to the the ship up by I can't remember what that ship's called but up this is flotsam and there's that pirate ship here you can learn the recipe to make it yourself but you could have a bunch of fighters on deck in the, in their pirate garb that uh, would just make it make it look a little bit better as well uh, Barden did use, I think they're called pirate flags, so it's like lag flag poles with big triangle things, but um, they were only available on SIPTA, and um, I'm certainly not aware of them being available since 3.0 on XL land, so we can't make them. And he had some pendants as a sort of symbol on the front that are from, from a DLC that I don't have, but... But hey, as, as a starter brace, it's, it's pretty cool. And then you can take this 
basic principle and you can expand it to your heart's content. And in, like I said, in the very first video I ever published on YouTube, I took my base build, which was essentially the same as this, and I built a one just over at the side of it that was double the size. So it was every deck was two walls high, because that that is an issue. Is I, I don't like the one high ceilings because it's a bit cramped in here. It doesn't quite work for the camera angles and stuff like that. But but hey, it's it's pretty decent. Okay, the next thing I want to do, just to finish this off, is I've done some grinding for some materials. And I want to start putting some new benches in my new base, but I want to upgrade them to the improved version. I should have probably dumped all that stuff off first. So, let's go learn some new items. So, survival. Alright, so we've got the furnace in the blacksmith, but I want the improved blacksmith, which is here. Which I need to learn iron or steel tools for first. Where'd it go? There it is. Uh, I'll need the improved... So I've got the, that's got the blacksmith. I need the improved tanner, fireball cauldron, and where's the carpenter? There. Okay. Let me go and gather all those materials and then I'll meet you across at the ship and we'll get them crafted. Okay, we're back. But I've just realised I haven't made quite enough shaped wood to do everything we need, so we're going to have to get the carpenter and get that down and get some more shaped wood done. Right, so let's start with the improved blacksmith bench which is that one there we'll stick that in the back here uh, fit in fact maybe over the side a bit more there we go and then the carpenter bench improved carpenter bench Overlapping with another. Oh, we don't have a. Oh! We don't have enough iron reinforcements for that either. Okay, right. Well, there's an easy solution to that is we'll put some of the iron in here and we'll make. Because the good thing about the improved bench is one iron reinforcement takes one iron bar instead of two. So we're halving the cost of that. Okay, right, we'll put down something else while we're waiting. So let's put down... Oh, I need some of my... <laughs> I need some of that back. 200 of that back. Right, so I need smithing, improved furnace. Come on, where's it going to go? There. there. Uh, fireball cauldron. Where's that alchemy? So that needs another 100 iron bars. I'm going to that back. Okay, so let's, let's do our carpentry bench now. So that can go there. Fireball cauldron looks like it'll fit in there nicely. Uh, what else do we need? What else do we need? We need a tannery. Uh, what's tannery under? Uh, no, where is where is it? Oh, there it is. Ah, so that needs the shape wood. Okay, so we're, we're not quite there for the tannery yet. What else did we learn? The armorer's bench. Don't think we did. Uh, armor. Here we go. Improved. Come on. 
we make that. Why is that under smithing? Surely that should have its own category. Uh, let's put that about. Uh, they move about too quickly in this update. Uh, well, the Tanner's bench is normal. We need the. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah. Tanner's bench is normal, so it's just this improved tannery we need, but we need a little bit more shape wood and we need some bark and twine for that. So let's just run outside, put that away, uh, grab some wood, I was hoping I could have all the materials already farmed, ready for crafting all these items. But appears not. Right, get that going. Will you? Oh, look, take that. Right, you get that crafting. Uh, we'll need some bark. In fact, we'll need some twine as well, which there's tons of twine over here. In fact, there's probably a bunch of bark inside our existing tannery, and then we can we'll eventually be able to destroy this because uh, we don't need these anymore. And, uh, oh, I'm over encumbered, great. Slowly work our way across. Okay, let me, let me cut and I'll get you, I'll get you over there. Okay, welcome back. All right, let me just get that coal dropped off in there to start with. And then get that extra shaped wood that we needed. Is that still not enough? How much shaped wood was it? A for a oh, it was. It was only fifty. Okay. All right. Spin that round. It's always a bit rubbish to get it beside. Here we go. There we go. So we've got a few more benches, like the tannery. We've got to get a get a stove set up here. Uh, we'll get our storage set up up in this front bit up here, and then we've always got this room up here for extra stuff up here. Like we'll get the tinkerer's bench up here, maybe the saddler's work table, and then up here will be the captain's quarters. So we'll get a bed and so maybe some chests and stuff in here. And I'll leave all the sorcery stuff over over there. And then we can keep our dancer separated from us as well. So we, we are not getting rid of corruption. We don't want to, etc. But yeah. Oh, it's dark. Let's see what the ships look like in the night time. So we'll run out here. Okay, so we've got... Need, need some more more lighting. But those those uh, bracketed torches or whatever they're called, they light up the, the sails quite nicely. And from the back, we'll get, if we get some interior lighting inside there so the little glow through the portholes, it'll look pretty nice. But yeah, there we go. That'll do for today. It's been a slightly different episode than normal, more of a, the building episode. And uh, we have our starter pirate ship or or galleon or whatever whatever you want to call it but yeah thanks very much for watching as always if you like the video please hit that like button hit subscribe and come and join us on discord and i will see you in the next episode bye now <laughs>